Bayou Time Sports is brought to you by Terrible General Health Systems Community Sports Institute in conjunction with Barker Honda. First off, I would like to thank everybody for coming and uh, showing their support or your support for, for Jackson. Anytime you have an athlete that signs to go to the next level, it is truly a special occasion. Nowadays, with the NCAA and, and, the, and the transfer portal and all these things, coming out of high school to sign to go to college, go to the next level, it's getting harder and harder. Uh, college coaches have their own opinion and things that they're looking for and, and athletes and they're starting to divvy away from the high school level as sad as it is. So when you have somebody that has the opportunity to play at the next level, it is truly a special occasion. And I uh, thank every single one of you for coming and celebrating that with us. And uh, you know, congratulations to Jackson and all his efforts that have started long before high school to prepare him for this moment. Uh, you know, all of his coaches, um, all of his travel ball coaches, his parents for being uh, so supportive and his family members for being so supportive over his last couple years. We thank you. Um, and, and, you know, this is truly a, truly a testament to his work ethic and his efforts, you know, from the last couple years, but even before that when he was growing up to get to this moment. So thank you for being here. We truly appreciate it. It is truly a special moment. And again, congratulations to Jackson for um, preparing himself to go to the next level and giving himself that opportunity. So congratulations, Jackson. Uh, so I just wanted to start off by thanking everyone, starting with my uh, parents and family and teammates and all my friends for a good four years and you know we did win the state championship so it's been very successful and I just wanted to thank everyone for uh, for being here. Thank you. It's very exciting, you know, uh, ever since I was a little kid, the goal has been to play college baseball and, you know, it's happy that it's been accomplished today. What got you interested in baseball? I just kind of saw it on TV and, uh, you know, it was like, looks fun, so I just started playing it. It's, uh, it's very demanding, you know, you got to put in a lot of extra work and workouts, batting cages, field, you know, but it's all worth it whenever you could do something like this. Coaches are amazing, you know, it's a... Uh, it's been a good four years, but you know, we've had our ups and downs, but uh, I would say it's all worth it. Who inspired you? Uh, I would say my parents inspired me and, you know, not just my parents, but my entire family. My family is very important. You know, we talked about it countless times about, you know, what I should do, where I should go and other things like that. Future goals is, uh, you know, obviously to uh, try and forego my baseball career. But, uh, you know, if not, then I'll just go into the medical field. Jackson came to us about four years ago, and his first year, got, we got shut down because of COVID. And, you know, that was one of the worst years that I have ever been a part of as coaches because as soon as we got started within the school year and you start to learn the new guys coming into the program, uh, everything got shut down. The whole world got shut down. So we really didn't get to see who Jackson was until about his sophomore year because even in that summer, we didn't, uh, we didn't get to do a lot. You know, there was not much going on with, with the world being shut down and, and everything else. So coming into the sophomore year, we, we saw Jackson kind of take a leap forward um, and never really look back, especially offensively and at the plate. So we uh, were able to utilize him in a lot of ways offensively and put in things in our offense that we haven't done before because of the things that he allowed us to do and to be versatile in, in certain aspects. And that's what he's going to carry on to the next level, too, is to be able to do a lot of things at the plate and even potentially help them on the mound, which is something that he's done really well for us the last two years. Man, when his swing is right, it is uh, it fits every aspect that you want in a hitter. Uh, good bat path, good rhythm, good timing, good pop. Uh, you know, you get the ball to all fields. There's one thing that we really noticed for him this year. Last year, he set the home run record at the school. And um, 
this year he kind of became more of a complete hitter. He battled through a tough injury that was kind of nagging him for a long time, but he never stopped. You know, it was kind of kind of a tough for us as coaches because we had to play the game of when do we step in and take care of him and when do we let him go out and compete. And uh, kudos to Jackson. He was always ready to go out and compete and never wanted us to hold him back. And it made it, a, it, made it tough on him because we're trying to look at the big picture of, you know, he is going to play at the next level and we don't want this to linger. And uh, He competed through all of that. And I'm so proud of him for doing that. And I'm so proud of him for being the person that he is and competing through all the, the trials that he's had with COVID, with Hurricane Ida, and pushing through it with no excuses. And, uh, you know, he's really set a good foundation for the players that are going to follow him coming up.